the idea of finitude uh, as human beings is a really big Bible idea that I w we don't talk about a great deal and I wish we talked about more. We are not the creator, we are creatures and uh, we are designed to uh, need rest, we are designed to be finite, uh, both in our, um, over time, of course, we are born to, to, to die. Um, uh, we are created to need others. Uh, we are created to rely on God and, and, and the people that he puts us amongst. And so as leaders, if we embrace our finitude, one of the first things is that we'll be marked by patterns of uh, work and rest. Um, we won't work endlessly and tirelessly uh, at, at things. We will have patterns uh, in our lives that bring uh, rest, that allow us to uh, re re restore our, our minds and our bodies in a range of different ways. Um, we'll take care of our bodies because we know that we can't just drive them endlessly uh, until they until they break, um, because we are because we are finite. Um, I think we'll also create projects and ministries and organisations that are marked by collaboration and interdependence. So we will not just set things up, but uh, we can deliver in our own strength and driven by our own vision. But we'll bring together the voices and skills and gifts and energies of a number of different people because we can achieve things together that no individual can achieve individually. Um, and then we will, we, will, we will therefore make decisions collaboratively. We'll have diversity in our teams um, and we'll be drawing on the gifts of others as we go about, uh, about our work. Those are some of the, the, the key things that I think represent our understanding of finitude.